Hi everyone, this is Jay from Interview Query. Uh, today I'm doing a mock interview with Ben, uh, who's a data scientist at Nextdoor and Envoy and formerly at BlackRock as well. Uh, ben, thanks for being here. Hey, how are you doing, Jay? Good. Uh, so to start out, I thought we could uh, tackle one of these questions um, that is uh, pretty popular uh, in terms of uh, ads. But uh, first, I'd love to just kind of do like a quick summary on your like background. Like, uh, how did you get into data science? Sure. Um, when I, I went into finance after graduating from college, uh, studied computer science, like a lot of folks here in Silicon Valley, um, and was working on some portfolio analysis and construction of some model portfolios that we had. And in doing so, you know, worked with a lot of data, like financial data that was coming through. Yep. Um, I became responsible for, um, you know, kind of reliable delivery of that data, as well as kind of uh, building tools to help uh, make the anal an analysis process more efficient. Um, so kind of fell into data like that. And when I decided that I didn't want to work in finance anymore and go into more, you know, consumer tech, uh, data was kind of a natural avenue or medium to kind of continue working in. So uh, there was this hot term at the time, data science. Uh, it became like that <laughs> thing to kind of explore and, you know, one thing led to another. Nice. Cool. Um, I'm glad that you got into it. Um... And uh, I think that there's definitely, you know, lots of people transitioning from finance over as well. Um, that can definitely resonate with that um, kind of characterization of mm -hmm. your background. Um, cool. So the first question that I have for you today is, uh, let's say that you work on the ads team at a social media company, uh, let's say Facebook, right? Um, and uh, definition or term that they have in ads is a uh, fill rate and it's defined as the number of overall impressions divided by potential opportunities. Um, so let's say that you see that this fill rate metric has dipped by 10%. Uh, what would you investigate? Uh, first, I'd want to find out whether that 10% is like relative or do you mean like in absolute terms? Uh, let's say that it's uh, relative. So if you know, fill rate was um, holding you know, steady. 90%. Yeah, steady. And then uh, let's say it happened, uh, it's been steady for like a week and then it dipped down uh, by 10% to like 81%. Okay. Um, okay, so I, I, I guess, you know, seeing that it's a rate uh, obviously made up of kind of uh, like a numerator and denominator, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes doesn't tell the full story when you look at it just... Uh, as a metric by itself. So the first thing I would do would be to look into like what's going on, like what's driving that, that, uh, that drop uh, in the fill rate. So what could be happening is, you know, the, the denominator in this case, the in impression opportunities could be getting a lot bigger, which, you know, might actually signal that a, a growth in the business. So that might be something that that's favorable and simply we just need some time for, uh, the new meter to catch up i'm assuming like you know we're, we're showing ads here so like new new advertisers have to come online yeah um the other scenario is obviously if the numerator is is the one dropping and we're not seeing any new activity on the denominator uh then that would be a little bit more of a cause for immediate concern and probably something we want to look into immediately okay so Let's say that it was the denominator that actually increased. Um, and then let's clarify and say that this was um, like specifically like a one-time event. So it's not like cyclical. So it didn't happen. It's not like a weekly thing because of, um, you know, more increased usage on the weekend or something like that. Right. Or like a monthly or yearly thing. Uh, what would you then uh, look at after that? Sorry, did you say the new, the denominator... Oh yeah, the denominator uh, increased. Uh, it increased. Yeah, and it was a one-time thing. Okay, yeah, I would. You know, so in this case, since it's opportunities, what might be happening is there's um, so so two things, right? Like, uh, this is a social network, so there are people who are coming onto the network to see these potential ads. So. Mm -hmm. um it's probably unlikely that behavior changed overnight and like you know people are suddenly like 
engaging like a yeah. lot more. Although who knows, maybe with you know coronavirus going around, that did happen overnight. Yeah. Um, but it could also be the case that there's a ton of new user activity and like a bunch of new members be from like um, like a big marketing push or something uh, that led to a lot of new users signing up. So we have a lot of new sessions where they're seeing a couple of these opportunities. So I guess the next place I would check would be uh, what's causing that increase in the opportunity number, whether it's like a bunch of new members or a bunch of new sessions. Gotcha. Uh, and so uh, is there any other way that you can divide it out uh, even within like the new users or new sessions to understand um, where it might be coming from? Uh, given like in this scenario, Facebook is like a pretty big business. Uh, so there's probably like a ton of different um, ways that people can sign up uh, for a, you know, a Facebook account or potentially be using Facebook at the time. So how else would I break out the increase in sessions you're saying? Yeah. Um, so, so let, let's say, let's say we see a lot of new, new sessions from new members. I would obviously look into like uh, like acquisition channels of all these new members and see you know if there's whether one of the theories that I just threw out um, might be the reason why there are, there are new members joining like maybe some I don't know some advertising campaign we're running elsewhere suddenly everyone else stopped bidding on those keywords so now like you know we're just like get, getting a lot of new users uh, not not sure if I'm going down the right track. Um, let's say like we're focusing in on uh, sessions, right? So let's say that uh, we know that there's a lot more sessions. Um, is there a way that we can verify that the sessions are coming from new users as well uh, compared to just existing users using the platform suddenly? Yeah, we would look at, you know, sessions per user and we would see like, and we would compare it to the total number of users. So like, you know, sessions could go up, but those could come from like, a slew of new users or they could be that existing users suddenly are engaging a lot more on that particular day right so i would try to figure out like just take my number of sessions and divide it quickly over my number of, of distinct users that day and just get a sense of like what that ratio is and i would expect if it were new users that that number would drop right like new users i expect to have less engagement when they first join but in, and driven by the bigger member base uh, and if it's an uh, increase from engagement in my existing users, then I would expect that number to have increased. Okay. So let's uh, take a step back and say that, um, let's say the denominator actually in that fill rate um, calculation stayed the same. Uh, is there something else that you could look at then? Yeah, that would probably point towards the numerator being the problem, in which case this is impressions. So <laughs> it may seem like a more dire problem if we're suddenly showing a lot fewer impressions. Um, there's, a, you know, then it, then it becomes a matter of like where we're getting advertisers from. Like if I, I would start with like, you know, an ops team and figure out whether some campaigns just ended. Um, and if we don't have direct campaigns, we have like, you know, uh, ad exchanges that were hooked into, maybe like something broke, like check for code that may have potentially like broken the integration. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I mean, the first step would be to verify that, you know, impressions actually did drop and I would find a third party source to try to verify that um, if possible, because it could also mean like, you know, an engineering bug where our impression tracking just broke, for example. Gotcha. Yeah, let's say that um, there wasn't a bug anywhere um, in the code or anything where we double down that and we say that there was no error uh, technically. Um, where else could we then uh, kind of investigate? Uh, I, I, like I said, I would go to the business side of things and just try to figure out like, I, am I seeing the same number of advertisers throughout the week as I am today? Like if I see a massive drop, like, uh, or if I don't even see a massive drop, I see that some advertisers were you know kind of doing pretty constant delivery throughout the week uh and some just dropped off maybe they reached their goal or they blew through their budget mm -hmm. uh so then you know they're not delivering anymore so try to find anything that looks abnormal by looking at kind of like a seven day trend just to see gotcha okay cool 